director for Clean Water Action. Um, Clean Water Action is a nationwide environmental organization uh, working to promote public health and uh, restore democracy by getting lots of people involved in protecting the environment. Um, thanks a lot to the Spookle River Heritage Center um, and the Foundry for letting us come out here and be just outside French Creek this morning, um, one of the uh, waterways which uh, we are working to protect. So. Um, what brings us out here today is uh, that the new stormwater permit uh, for urbanized areas in Pennsylvania um, has a requirement in Appendix A that uh, communities begin to move towards more low impact development uh, land use ordinances as, de as defined by the Environmental Protection Agency. So Clean Water Action is really excited about that. We believe economic development can occur with less impact on the environment. And so in order to help communities uh, have some guidance um, and, and some ideas and some things that they could do to be more low impact development friendly in the ways that they develop, um, we wrote this report, uh, Paving Less, Low Impact Development Opportunities in Northern Chester County. Um, it covers 20 communities, uh, the, the Chester County communities that are in the watershed of the Schuylkill River and in the main stem of the Delaware. We'll be doing more reports covering the rest of Chester County later on uh, this year. Um, but it uses a worksheet that was created by the Center for Watershed Protection, which is a well-regarded kind of water think tank, um, and it's their municipal codes worksheet. Uh, we went through all these communities' codes and ordinances and uh, evaluated them and gave them each a score from 1 to 100 on how low-impact development their local code is. Um, so communities in northern Chester County scored all over the place, um, but none of them scored below the 40s, I don't think, and none of them scored, scored higher than the 70s. Um, the average score for the 20 communities was 58. Um, so even though Chester County is known as being an area where folks are really smart and innovative about stormwater, this is where the whole idea of protecting riparian buffers was born in Pennsylvania. Um, there's still room for improvement here, and Clean Water Action is excited to provide uh, this report as a way to begin the conversation about some things folks can do to uh, put a little bit, little less impervious, a little less impervious surface down and uh, have economic development have a little bit less impact on water. Um, just gonna quickly say what the recommendations from the report are. Um, we didn't really go into specific recommendations in terms of, uh, you know, pave less here or, uh, or build less in this way. We really was um, encouraging folks to have a process. So we're encouraging uh, communities to involve their full elected boards in uh, writing the new stormwater permit. Um, it's, uh, it's really important that elected officials get involved in this permit. Um, we, from what we hear more, more often than not, they sort of leave it to township staff, but this is really a new, uh, a new permit that we think it makes sense for the elected officials to get involved in. Open the process up, seek impact from the community about ways in which they'd like to be more low impact development friendly. Involve your local environmental organizations, your watershed groups, those sorts of organizations. Um, and compare the cost and benefits, and this is a really important one. Um, compare the cost and benefits of meeting the TMD, the total maximum daily load obligations, um, either through from direct construction or from writing new ordinances that would make private development as redevelopment happens have less impact. Um, I think most communities are assuming uh, to lower their, for example, sediment pollution loads. Um, they just need to build a bunch of stuff and spend a bunch of money. Um, and you may not need to do that. If you've got redevelopment occurring in your community, you could put some requirements on the private sector, which makes sense and will probably make their properties more beautiful and, um, and enhance them in a lot of ways and not have that uh, financial impact on the town. And we also encourage organizations to consult with environmental organizations like Clean Water Action to find ways to be more low impact development friendly as they engage in this process. Um, so thanks everyone for coming out. I'm just gonna turn it over to um, one of the great uh, environmental engineers that we often look to for, invited, uh, for advice and guidance on, uh, on these sorts of topics, uh, Michelle Adams with Meliora Design. Thank you, Brady. I, I just want to reinforce the importance of low impact development and this change in thinking <coughs> from traditionally thinking of stormwater as a byproduct of development with all the problems it brings to our water quality and our flooding and our landscape to this change in thinking with low impact development, which is really about thinking about water as a resource integrated into the landscape, integrated into the way we live in a way that protects our resources. The importance of these ordinances and their implementation at the municipal level can't be underestimated. So hats off to Clean Water Action for doing this and uh, let's hope it moves forward in a productive way. Cool. Thanks a lot. If uh, anybody has any questions, we'd love to answer them. Um, both you guys got copies of the report, right? Yes. Thank you very much.